This video highlights the changes we have made to Mover Suite at version 2016-R22. The Release Work Ticket screen has been revamped and renamed to Inner Actuals. The Inner Actuals screen allows you to document the actual service times for crew and equipment. You can also enter total counts for the materials used along with documenting any additional services provided. This information assists personnel in generating accurate charges within revenue entry. The screen provides basic information on the order, including the shipper name and order number. Also displayed is the name of the service you are entering actuals for, along with the originally estimated time and date of the service. Also displayed is the work ticket number associated to the service. Each category that may require you to enter actuals lists as tabs across the screen. Categories include entering times for crew and equipment, and providing counts for equipment dispatched by quantity, for CPU, and any crating utilized. You can also record any additional services provided. To add actual service times for crew, open the Crew tab. Here you select the person or persons you wish to create a time entry for by checking the box in this column. You can also use the right-click options to check or uncheck all records. For each selected record, you enter the date and time of a service and press Add. The dates and times that display by default are pulled from the times originally set for the service. You can create multiple entries per person per day. For example, if you wish to document a block of time for morning work and a separate one for afternoon work, you can do that. Let us say your crew worked from 7.30 to 11.30 and again from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock. You create one entry for the morning block and a second entry for the afternoon. If one of your crew stayed late to clean up, you can document a third entry and check the box to indicate overtime. The screen keeps track of how much time is allotted to each person. There is also a total number of hours for all entries made for all crew members. If you wish to remove a time block, right-click on the entry you wish to remove and choose Remove Time Entry. When you are done, you can navigate to other tabs and enter additional information. Enter actual service times for equipment in the same manner as you do for the crew. Select the item and add appropriate time entries. As with the crew grids, you have right-click options to assist you. If equipment dispatches by quantity, then you can note the number of items returned through the Equipment Quantities tab. Select the resource, enter the date the items were returned, enter the count of the items, and press Add. If you have materials listed under Containers, Packing, and Unpacking, enter actuals accordingly. Navigate between entries using the tab or arrow keys. Document crates utilized on the move by adding records through a separate dialog. Enter any additional services using a separate dialog as well. When you have entered all the actuals needed, press the Save button. The application stores the entries made in all tabs and closes the screen. If you need to make any corrections to this information, simply open the Enter Actuals screen again. Data for the actuals can import into Revenue Entry and can be included on charges generated for the move request. A new Rate As option is available to rating screens and functions within Mover Suite. This new option allows you to pull in and apply a regular, overtime, or double rate into your charges. To enable this option, set the Apply Regular, OT, and Double Rates flag on appropriate rate type records. Verify the rates are set correctly for the rate plan. Under the Rate Plan Setup, Update the rates by providing a regular rate, an overtime rate, and or a double rate. Then verify that this rate plan is set on the order. Now, when you enter revenue, set the service and set the type, the Rate As option becomes available. The application defaults the type to the regular rate. However, you can pull in an overtime or double rate from the rate table as well. You can update the rate manually as well. Doing so disables the Rate As option. Again, each of the Rate As options links back to the rate associated to the rate plan set for the order. You can utilize the Rate As option when creating revenue groups, 
when creating quotes. It is also available when manually adding a line item to an invoice. And it is available through recurring billing when adding individual items. For recurring billing, the rate plan that affects the rating is set on the billing record as the rate table. The two enhancements discussed here are part of our continued effort to bring you support for office and industrial moves. Thank you for allowing us to share some of the improvements made to Mover Suite at version 2016 R22.